Do you ever use the same password for multiple websites? Do you ever sign into Google Mail from public or shared computer? Such actions weaken your password and make it easier to steal. Google now offers two-step verification, an optional security feature that helps protect your account even if your password is stolen or cracked. This new feature helps improve security because signing in requires two things, something you know, your password, and something you have, your phone. It's much like what you might see on your banking website. With two-step verification, you'll get a short numeric code, known as a verification code, on your phone. You'll then enter this in addition to your username and password when you sign in. Let's take a look at how you sign in with two-step verification. After you sign in with your username and password, Google will ask you for a verification code. If you chose to receive a text or voice message when you set up two-step verification, Google will then send it to you on your phone. If you're an Android, BlackBerry, or iPhone user, you can also choose to generate a code on your phone using the Google Authenticator app. Enter the code from your phone. If you trust this computer, you can check this box and you won't be asked for another verification code. To set up two-step verification, sign into your Google account and go to your account settings page. On the next screen, click Set Up Two-Step Verification. Follow the directions on your screen to choose how to receive two-step verification codes. Thanks for trying two-step verification, and kudos to you for taking extra steps to protect your account. As you know, your email or other favorite apps online are protected so that they can only be accessed by you. You access this stuff by signing in with your username and password. Occasionally, though, when trying to get to something really important like personal billing information or sensitive company data, this isn't enough. Unfortunately, we hear about passwords being stolen all the time, and so we'll ask for something extra after entering your password. This process is known as two-step verification. The first step being the password you entered, and the second being possession of a device, such as a phone or tablet. How do we know you have this device? That's where the Microsoft Authenticator comes into play. After setting up the app with your personal, work, or school accounts, to access your stuff, first you'll enter your password, step one. Then you'll get a notification sent to your device. Just tap Approve, and you're good to go. Our app also supports any other accounts you might have, including Google and Facebook. For these accounts, you'll enter the security code displayed in the app when prompted. Notice that for extra security, these codes are refreshed every 30 seconds. A handy timer lets you know when the next code will appear. Setup only takes a second. First, you'll choose which type of account to add, a personal Microsoft account, a work or school account that uses Azure Active Directory, or something else. To add your personal Microsoft account, enter your username and password directly into the app, and follow the instructions provided. For work or school accounts using Microsoft's Azure Active Directory, you'll scan a QR code. Each organization keeps their QR code on their own site. Your company or school will tell you how to find yours. If you'd like to register your company for Azure Active Directory, check out the link below to learn more. 
And last, for any other accounts, like Google and Facebook, you'll also scan a QR code, which can be found in your account's security settings. We've packed a couple additional features into the app as well for Azure Active Directory organizations. For example, some companies ask that you register your device with them before accessing corporate files, emails, or apps. This can easily be completed through the app settings. Registering also enables single sign-on to many Microsoft-powered apps, which means once you sign in to the Microsoft Authenticator, you can use compatible apps without re-entering all of your information. With more and more of our lives and data moving online, it's becoming more important than ever to make sure it's all safe. Thanks for taking a big step in keeping your account more secure by using the Microsoft Authenticator.